All right, so yesterday EA released an update for UFC 4, and you guys have been going crazy for this. Um, apparently, a lot of people are not aware, or a lot of people didn't think that EA is going to develop another game for the UFC. Um, a lot of people genuinely did not think that EA was making uh, a UFC 5, and they haven't actually officially said, hey, we are making EA Sports UFC 5. They haven't used those words in, in that exact way. Um, but we do know that UFC 5 is in development. We've seen a, a few hints here and there. We know that EA signed, I mean, a 10-year deal or something like that. Like, the next game is in development. Whether it's going to be called UFC 5 or whatever they're going to call it, um, they are making the next game. And this update, as you, I, I guess, you know, confirmed that for a lot of people, which is why a lot of people are really, really excited. I get it. You know, UFC 4 is getting kind of stale. Um, but let's go check out what the what the update actually said. So um, if you go on their website right there, it says update on EA Sports UFC 4 tuners. Uh, it says we wanted to provide information about the future. Hold on. Let me let me uh, increase this right here. It says, we wanted to provide information about the future of tuners in EA Sports UFC 4 as we continue to update the game. As our team shifts priorities to developing future EA Sports UFC titles, UFC 4 will have reduced cadence for tuner sets that update fighter ratings and more. In the past, these tuner sets will happen after every UFC pay-per-view event, but now they will occur alongside each new fighter patch. As the development team continues to work on updating fighter ratings as well as adding new fighters themselves, you'll see the same additions and updates to the game just in a reduced cadence. Now, alongside each new fighter coming into UFC 4, you will see any appropriate tuners come in as well. Now with this, two things were confirmed. One is that UFC 4 is still going to be getting updates. I mean, it says right there, as the development team continues to work on updating fighter ratings as well as adding new fighters themselves. So we're still going to get new fighters in UFC 4. They're not completely stopping those. And we're still going to be getting fighter rating updates for UFC 4. That's one. And right there, it confirms that they are developing future EA Sports UFC titles. Now, again... I mean, that's pretty much as clear as it gets. Um, what this is pretty much saying is that uh, in the past, it would be after every pay-per-view, there will be a tuner set that will be sent out where if there's a fighter in the game that was involved in the pay-per-view, depending on how they performed in the pay-per-view, they were either going to get buffed or they're going to get debuffed. So their stats will either be increased or decreased. But because they're focusing more attention now on the next EA Sports UFC title, which we're just going to assume is EA Sports UFC 5, the cadence, so the amount of tuner sets we're going to receive is going to reduce, and they're actually only going to be re uh, released with brand new fighters. So when a brand new fighter is added to the game, that's when whatever appropriate tuners is going to uh, be applied to the game. Um... But even before this, even before this, um, a while back, I believe this was in, 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 two, in 2022 March, um, a reliable source, pretty reliable source. If you go to this man's page right here on Twitter, uh, the owner of Insider Gaming IG, uh, someone that's known that when he says something, it ends up being true. So we're going to see how true this is. But someone asked him on Twitter, hey, any news about EA Sports UFC 5? And he pretty much responded saying that UFC 5 is to be expected in summer of 2023. And then he mentioned that a Fight Night reboot had to be paused for it. So this is this was like the very first uh, idea that people got that UFC 5 is in development. And if he is to be believed, then UFC 5 is not only in development, but UFC 5 is in development and it's been in development long enough that we might be seeing the game summer of this year. I'm hoping that's what happens. Of course, I know more than I'm saying. I am an EA game changer, um, but I'm hoping that we do see the game. I'm hoping we see the game this year. Summer will be nice. 
that would be really nice because, uh, you know, UFC 4 is definitely getting stale. And, you know, even though we have Undisputed and we still have Fight Night Champion and we have other games to cover, um, there's a, a different feeling when you get a brand new UFC game. It's it's just different. You know, we look at career mode. We see if some of the changes that we've been requesting, if those changes made it into the game. It's just a nice, it's a good, it's a good feeling. So hopefully, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You know, we're, we're definitely going to keep an eye on it. Um, I say I don't know. I mean, I, I have, I get, <laughs> we'll keep an eye on it, okay? And I'm going to give you guys updates as we move forward, updates that I'm allowed to give, okay? So um, definitely keep an eye on the website. It looks like EA is finally going to be using the website to actually make updates, which is pretty good. I, you know, that would be nice. You know, they have a website and they rarely ever use their website, but it looks like they're going to be using it now. So hopefully... As the days goes by, we're going to start receiving more information about UFC 5. You know, that's just EA's way of doing things. They don't start promoting the game or even talking about the game until they get very, very close to release, which to me is kind of crazy. But hey, they are a, what, billion dollar company right now? Million, multi-million dollar company with extensive marketing teams. They know what they're doing. If that's the way they want to do it, then they have a reason for that. They can do whatever they want. But yeah, there you have it, man. Nothing too crazy. You know, there is nothing groundbreaking about this update. And um, hope it clears things up for you guys. So that's it. I will leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. And I will see you guys later. Peace out. Have a good one.